Hello there, wondrous beasts of YouTube and the internet alike. I have a confession to make. I really, really love Tool. I am one of those annoying guys on your social media currently who is freaking out, all excited about the fact that Tool are going to release a new album, and now, finally, they've released their first song in a goddamn eon. So Fear Inoculum, the first song to be released off the album, Fear Inoculum, and I'm excited as hell. A little bit pensative, nervous to see what we get. I have a feeling that we're going to feel a lot of familiarity from this. I think that Tool is one of those bands that is just always going to be f***ing Tool. So without further ado, let's have a listen to the song and see how we go. Alright, and now here we are on the other side of one of the most awaited first singles of at least my generation. It was a ten and a half minute song and it moved by smoothly as a good four or five minutes on. It really didn't feel like it dragged at all. Every passage went for just the right amount of time. Which, whenever you're listening to a long song like that, particularly a song from a band like Tool that have a lot of patience around the notes and like to draw out a bit of breath and a bit of air, you can sometimes be a bit uh, nervous thinking, oh, this is going to be a really long, drawn out song that's going to be a bit too much, there's going to be too many big gaps but every passage and every part earned its keep. One of the big concerns with all the Tool fans and all the people awaiting this album has been, is it going to be too much of the same and fall flat? Or is it going to be t completely different? It's definitely the Tool you know. It's definitely, definitely the Tool you know, which I think is a good thing because Tool are the soundtrack to a really specific world that they've created, different parallel dimension that kind of mirrors our own in this really weird dark way. So if they were to pop up over this side completely new and exciting, all different, all you've never heard it before, I think it would shatter that soundtrack, it would shatter the uh, continuity of that world. There are some bands that I listen to that when they release a new album I'm really wanting to hear something new. I'm really wanting to hear something that I've never heard before and I'm looking forward to seeing what the hell they come up with next. But with Tool, I am, I am looking for the continuation, the next episode in that soundtrack. That's just me personally as a listener. With a lot of bands, one or two members from that group can be representative of the entirety of that Axe catalogue of music. Tool, on the other hand, is absolutely a band that is made up of every single member. It is a cohesive voice of these four brilliant artists that marry together. And since they've spent so much time apart, it's really great to see them come back and still find that same voice. But onto the song at hand a little bit. The intro of the song where you have these kind of ring modulated tones that are reminiscent of the beginning of uh, Schism. Immediately it sets the tone. I love albums or songs that are wearing something really strange at the beginning, that are putting something really bizarre forward because people will be reminded of that throughout the rest of the song. They wear that influence through the rest of their listen. Like a prologue in a book, it's got this real spiritual angst to it that Tool has always kind of had since around Lateralis. This song starts off charging and groovy with uh, the delayed bass kind of parts, the syncopated delayed bass parts. So the production on this song feels more polished than Tool work in the past. Maybe that's just technologically informed, maybe it's a choice. But I can see how some people might be a little funny about that, that it sounds quite refined, quite polished, compared to say some of the more compressed, darker, earlier Tool work that has a lot more just distortion in the air, has a bit more grit to the recording. Something I always loved with the old Tool, it felt like they were chasing a certain type of sound. Always looking for a specific sort of artistic plane that they wanted to reach. There are some gorgeous musical transitions in this song, particularly the breakdown with the tablas and the percussion going on. Not sounding like an absolute <laughs> fanboy who's just obsessed with Tool. <sighs> I am a little bit. But let's take a minute to talk about the vocals in the song. And like a lot of aspects of Tool's music, with the vocal delivery, there is this kind of underlying tone of a religious aspect 
Not so much in the lyrical content, but much more in the way that it's delivered. In the way that it seems quite like a monk's chant or a mantra. Now, it's always going to be impossible to listen to lyrics of a decent song and not imprint what you're experiencing in the world upon it. I definitely think that Fear Inoculum is based off and about the use of misinformation to stir fear within society. And this song and the lyrics of it are kind of the process of becoming immune to the fear that is being spread. Now Maynard's lyrics, not just in this song, but in general, always teeter this really fine line between very artistically cryptic, but also very blunt force there you go, this is what the lyric means, this isn't a hidden meaning. But in this song he definitely, at least to me, seems to be leaning towards the very easily accessible, easily transferred into reality kind of lyrics. There's nothing too cryptic about them, there's a little bit of allegory in the way that obviously he's talking about fear as a disease and a contagion and shaking off the fear or shaking off the ability for that fear to affect you as being immunized, as being free of it, as it being lifted off of him, as him being cured, so to speak, of this fear. But I think that's an allegory that's very easily transferred into reality and very easily accepted. There's nothing too hidden about that. When you put this against, say, the lyrics from the album Lateralis, he's obviously painting quite a spiritual picture. I think that album, in a way, had a very spiritual undertone and a very thematic kind of undertone. Whereas, say, 10,000 Days, and earlier works, they had a bit more of that you can grab those lyrics and walk away and take it with you and ingest it really easily. As far as I can see, there are references in there about herd mentality, about the mindset of the people being poisoned and so much fear of the other. It's a timeless, very commonly used allegory, the idea of fear is a poison, fear is a disease, fear is kind of a physical entity that someone is putting amongst the people. Now although Maynard's vocal delivery doesn't skyrocket off into massively angry territory, not like the big old scream in The Grudge. The lyrics in this song are really angry. They're really, really angry, they're really fed up, they show a real disdain for a certain situation, and I'm always glad to see an act that is a very successful, legendary act still have that anger. But call me a sadist or something, I have this kind of feeling that a lot of artistic integrity comes from some type of anger, comes from some type of dissatisfaction in the world, because that's where some of the most important things to comment on are, that's where you're the most passionate about something. To see that after all these years they're still furious about something, it gives me quite a lot of hope for the album. All in all, banger track, loved it. I'm Brandon Valentine, I'm a massive Tool fan, and I'm not even going to tell you to like, share and subscribe. Hey, but I kind of did subconsciously. Oh, oh, I feel dirty.